because I found the list. I found the okay. list of words and why and what the swap is, okay? I love this comma, though. Who was it? <laughs> it's so funny because this is how I'm, this is exactly how I'm feeling, Jim. I'm just not going to talk anymore. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah. when you see things like this, it, I understand the emotion. But again, I don't want people to be mean to each other. I don't want you to just feel like you could, and you can, there's, there is still freedom of speech. You can say whatever you want to anybody you want to. You can also get a punched in the face, right? Um, but let's go through a couple more lists before we get to Michelle Obama. Um, okay, let me lower this music just a second. Okay, so one of the words, Kim, is white space. Hmm, that means kind of a blank space in between everything. And so you're supposed to say empty space because it assigns value connotations based on color that white equals good and it's an act which is subconsciously racialized it's, it's empty how can it be good if it's just empty space it's no empty space. space empty space that's what they want you to use if you say white space um you know because they're when you're like doing a layout white space is good because it it, it makes it easier to see so I reject this one okay I reject it I reject, it. White space. I reject white space because if you were using white, there are, are many times where there will be old sayings like that's mighty white of you. Right. Right. That's yeah. That right that's too. a clear, that's a clear. No, that's, that's out, obvious. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But white space, the meaning of white space is just that empty space that happens to be on white paper. So it's not talking about the color white being superior. In this case, white space would be, in superior, unsuperior, because it doesn't have anything on it. So it doesn't even make sense to me that they would pick that just because the word white is in it. Well, the word white doesn't necessarily refer to skin tone. It also just refers to, you know, mm. the color in well, white you know, space used in every other thing. Needed. So uh, Harry writes in, no, no, white space has a specific meaning and it's not empty. Empty okay. is empty white space needs to be there. So that's just, a, that's, you know, that you can't just swap empty space for white space. That's a good point. But when you do layouts, and I just remember yeah. my old high school yearbook kind of thing, when you do a layout, they want white space. So it is a desired thing. White space making it for the layout pleasing to the eye. Does that make right. sense? It's not just, oh, there's white space. There's a meaning or a purpose for the white space there. Um, I mean, if you're no, gonna tell me, if you're gonna tell me it's racist, at least give me a good reason why. I'll get on board if you can give me a good reason. Well, okay. How about this? Um, white sheep versus black sheep. Why is a black sheep bad? Right. Agree. Okay. Yes. I mean, I in and of itself, it's just a black sheep. But right. black equals, you know, it's. I always remember that scene in Malcolm X, the Malcolm X movie, where he's, I think he's in prison when he's reading the the dictionary and he's reading all of these definitions. And I think that's where this white space is coming from. I'm not going to speak. The whole damn thing mm. is stupid. Uh, let's see. Far. I said something racist earlier on the Mark Thompson <gasps> show. What did you say? Are you gonna? Well, are, he, should he I promised, allow you to say it on my show? He promised. Yeah, he promised to. Tell me a Titanic story that he had okay. about this movie set of the Titanic. Oh, did you and say when you he got... failed to do so? I said, I, I feel gypped. I got gypped. Yep, you can't say that. Well, I knew that, that word is mm -hmm. based on gypsies, Gypsy. right? Yep. Cheating people out of things. Yep. And I knew it after as it came out of my mouth. <laughs> I was like, oh, mm. take that. So, but, you can, but I understand that it was wrong, and you can make a case to me for that being wrong, and I will agree with you. But when you, you start going overboard with like white space, come on. All right. No, okay. No white space for her. Okay. What about, you know, what about this word, which is a word that I think we all use a lot. I mean, not a lot, but in news, particularly a uh, prostitute. They want you to use person who engages in sex work. I would say a sex worker then, or is that even bad? And the reason why is using person first language helps to not define people by just one of their characteristics. So I'm not a prostitute. I am a person who engages in sex work. That's exactly what it means to say you're a prostitute. Mm, see, Kim is not I'm on. Sorry that you don't like board. the word, but the changing, you're not going to change the meaning of the word prostitute because it means the same thing as someone who's paid for sex. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> I just, you can't, you know, you could try to change the word, but you're still getting paid for sex. Yes. 
You are. You are. Okay, I have one more, and this one kind of relates to what we're going to talk about next with Michelle Obama, and which kind of surprises me a little bit because they want to get rid of trigger warning, and they wanted to say oh. instead content note. Still two words, and the reason is the phrase. Cracks me up. The phrase can cause stress about what's to follow. Additionally, one can never know what may or may not trigger a particular person. So content note, like content note, what do we what do we always say? I find um, trigger warning to be annoying. By the way, would you rather have me say prostitute or whore? Um, to me? Yeah. <laughs> whore is offensive. Whore is like a kind of a you're you know, a, uh, a uh, dirty uh, whore, right? Daddy, daddy, hello. Prostitute is the is common the the correct term. Well, I mean, I guess ask the per again. If you are talking with someone, a person who person? engages in sex work, what's what do you what you do you a prostitute? Yeah, a prostitute. Oh. Like I'm a prostitute. Yeah. Okay, you're a prostitute. I'll call you a prostitute. Right. Uh, a trigger warning. What do we say? We always say um. Uh, when we were on air, if there was something coming up, we didn't say trigger warning. No. We would say something that we give people kind of a warning. I think heads we just up. said warning, heads up. Um, yeah, kind of. This is gonna possibly. We'll be talking about. I don't say trigger warning ever. Moment, if that I never you. say trigger. I don't think those words. Besides, in this instant, trigger I don't ever. Warning. I don't say trigger warning. That's not a word that I use. You know okay. What it is when you mm. say trigger warning, it's just like it's for the ultra sensitive. Right? Trigger warning. Well, I feel like I mean, it's, I, I see it more online when people yeah. want to share a story about something, yeah. they'll put like, like TW, which is supposed to be trigger warning. Yeah. And some people are like, I wouldn't have read it if I would have known what it was about. Cause I don't sure. want to read stories like this. Right. So in that instance, I get that. Yeah. 